Consider the number sine of one degree. Is it rational or irrational? If you were to ask me to make an educated guess, I would say probably irrational. I mean, it doesn't look like that. It should be rational. <laughs> but to formally get an answer, we have to prove our claim. We have to rigorously prove our claim. So how can we show that sine of one degree is rational or irrational? Well, as I said, it's usually a good idea to start by following your intuition. So we might want to claim that sine of one degree is not a rational number. So sine of one degree does not belong to the set of rational numbers. Okay, I'll write it with this, uh, with this, you know, <laughs> just to make it look more fancy. So this is our claim. How do we prove it? Maybe we can start with proof by contradiction, because in this case, showing that this does not belong to the set of rational numbers, it probably would call for some sort of contradiction, right? So why don't we suppose for the sake of contradiction, we suppose that sine of one degree is indeed rational. Then what can we derive from this? Well, when you're at this stage, it's usually a good idea to, to just play around with certain values. For example, consider the cosine double angle formula. Recall that cosine of 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So if you plug in x to be 1 degree, then you would get cosine of 2 degrees is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of 1 degree. And because sine of 1 degree is rational, then this would mean that this entire expression is rational. So we've just we've just proven under this assumption that cosine of two degrees is rational. This is, this is what we have deduced. Okay, now, what if we just play around with the cosine double angle formula again? Recall that this can also be written as two cosine squared of x minus one. Well, if you were to plug in x to be two degrees now, you would get that cosine of 2 times 2 degrees, that's 4 degrees, is equal to 2 cosine squared of 2 degrees minus 1. So therefore, because we've shown that cosine 2 degrees is rational, then cosine 4 degrees equal to this expression is also rational. So we have just uh, deduced that cosine of 4 degrees is rational. So yeah, good progress, right? We have, under this assumption, derived a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I've put what we derived on the side. Now, take a look at these two examples. We have cosine 2 degrees is rational, cosine 4 degrees is rational. Might that make you think that cosine of any even degree is also rational? If that does not resonate with you, then that's fair, because we, we only have two examples. But it might still be worth a shot. Suppose that m is an integer, maybe positive integer in this case, such that, such that cosine of m degrees is rational, okay? Let m be an integer satisfying this condition. Now, what can we say about cosine of m degrees plus 2 degrees? Well, we can expand this, use the compound angle formula. This is equal to cosine of m degrees times cosine of 2 degrees, and then minus sine of m degrees, sine of 2 degrees. Okay, admittedly, this might seem helpful at first glance, because cosine m degrees and cosine 2 degrees are rational, but we have literally no information on sine of m degrees and sine of 2 degrees. So, should this be a dead end? Not completely, because over here we had m plus 2 degrees. Why not consider m minus 2 degrees? And that could be helpful not only because, I don't know, because it seems useful. <laughs> it's also helpful because notice that when you have minus 2 degrees, here it would be plus sine of m degrees and then sine of 2 degrees. Let's try it. So cosine of m degrees minus 2 degrees. Expanding this gives us cosine of m degrees, cosine of 2 degrees, and then plus 
sine of m degrees, sine of 2 degrees. Notice that this is plus and this is minus, as I've said, right? Why don't we try adding the equations so that the sine parts will cancel out? So let's add the equations. If we add the equations, we would get over here, we have cosine of m plus, well, m degrees plus 2 degrees, and then plus cosine, okay, plus cosine of m degrees minus 2 degrees. This over here is equal to, we have cosine of m degrees, cosine 2 degrees, and then over here we have, uh, what is this? Oh, it's just double it, right? Double two times cosine of m degrees, cosine 2 degrees. So yeah, this is what we get from adding the equations. Now, is this of any help to us? Turns out this is very, very helpful. Okay, so I've cleaned the board again. Why is this so powerful? Well, check this out. If we were to take m equals to 4, and we can do this because cosine of 4 degrees is rational. So if we take m is equal to 4, then by this identity, we can get that cosine of 6 degrees plus cosine of 2 degrees. This is equal to 2 cosine of 4 degrees times cosine of 2 degrees, right? Now, if we were to take this cosine of 2 degrees onto the other side, so that's minus cosine of 2 degrees, then check this out. Because cosine of 4 degrees and cosine of 2 degrees, they are all rational from here, this would mean that this entire expression over here is rational. But then because cosine of 6 degrees is equal to this, this would mean that cosine of 6 degrees is also rational. So we've just deduced that cosine of 6 degrees is going to be rational. Now, can we go further? <laughs> yes, because if instead, if instead we took m to be equal to 6, then by this identity, we can derive that cosine of 8 degrees plus times cosine of 2 degrees. And we can take this cosine of 4 degrees onto the other side. And now, again, because cosine of 6 degrees, cosine, cosine of 2 degrees, and cosine of 4 degrees, they are all rational, then this would mean that this entire side is rational. Therefore, we've deduced that cosine of 8 degrees is also rational. So therefore, we have deduced that cosine of 8 degrees is rational. Now, can you see what is going on over here? Well, this identity is basically a machine we can use to derive that the cosine of any even degree is going to be rational. Now, I'm sure you can see how it works. However, when you're writing proofs, you have to make sure that your proof is backed up with rigorous and airtight arguments with rigorous wording. You can't just use some loose language and say, oh, it's intuitive. You have to know how to formally prove your claim. So how can we prove that this implies that the cosine of any even degree is going to be rational? Well, if we want to cover all even integers, looks like a job for induction. Now, we'll be inducting every two steps because we only care about the even integers. So how can we word our inductive hypothesis? We could word it like this. Suppose that cosine of 2k degrees is rational. 4, k is equal to 1, 2, all the way to n, where n is a positive integer. So basically, all the positive integers from 1 to n inclusive. Now, what does this say about cosine of 2n degrees plus 2 degrees? Is this number rational? Like, is this true? Well, we're going to be using our inductive step to prove that if this is true, then this is also true. Now, note that we already have a base case. We have like multiple base cases over here for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're good on that part. We're just going to do our inductive step over here. Well, to do that, consider plugging m, consider setting m to be equal to 2n. Then this identity would tell us that Okay, I'm going to write over here. <laughs> this identity would tell us that cosine of 2n degrees plus 2 degrees plus, plus cosine of 2n degrees minus 2 degrees, this is equal to 
2 cosine of 2n degrees cosine of 2 degrees. Sorry, it, it looks a, a little bit clumpy. But hopefully you can see what's going on over here. If I were to take this cosine of 2n degrees minus 2 degrees, if I take this onto the other side, right, then notice what I have over here. I have the cosine of 2n degrees plus 2 degrees is equal to 2 cosine of 2n degrees, rational, times cosine of 2 degrees, rational, and then minus cosine of 2n degrees minus 2 degrees, also rational, because this over here is 2 times n minus 1, and it holds for n minus 1. So therefore, Notice that this would imply that cosine of 2n degrees plus 2 degrees is also rational. So therefore, the cosine of any, of any even degree is going to be rational. That is proven. But hold on. If cosine of 2n degrees is always going to be rational, that's a contradiction because famously, n is equal to 15 degrees will destroy this because cosine of 30 degrees well, that's just root 3 over 2. Clearly not rational. So we've reached a contradiction. And therefore, this assumption, this assumption over here is false. This is not right. This is correct. There we go. Throughout this problem, you can see that we combined two methods of proof to prove one entire result. We used proof by contradiction, and then within that proof by contradiction, we used proof by induction. That's often a very clever way to actually prove that something belongs in a set or does not belong in a set. So I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you found it enjoyable. Uh, if you did, then please do consider dropping a like and subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye.